Hello everyone, welcome to Economics Window by Garima Singh. In today's video, we will be covering Fair Ennis model, which is about ruler to urban migration of labor. The Fair Ennis model of economic growth is a dualism model in developmental economics or welfare economics, which has been developed by John C. H. Fay and Gustav Rennes. It can be understood as an extension of Lewis model that I have covered in my previous video, and also it is known as the surplus labor model. There is existence of dual sector, which means there is one sector which is the ruler subsistence sector or the agriculture sector and the other one is the urban industrial sector, right? Also, this is a closed economy model, which means there is no trading activity taking place in the economy, no export, no import with the rest of the world. Basically, the model talks about that the agriculture sector generates surplus to finance the development of industrial sector. Here, the term surplus stands for the disguised labor. Therefore, it is also called as the utilization of manpower model. Further talking about the model, it assumes that the marginal productivity of labor is zero. The central problem of dual economy is the transfer of labor from the ruler to the urban sector. The social problem of an economy is overpopulation and it is the industrial sector that will absorb maximum number of agricultural labor, which means the disguisedly unemployed people. Further talking about the model, it explains how increased productivity of agriculture sector would help in promoting the industrial sector. It also tells us how the underdeveloped economies can move from the stage of stagnation to the self-sustained economy. It is also called as an improvement over Lewis model of unlimited supply of labor. Only difference between both the models is that Lewis didn't pay attention to the agriculture sector, whereas the Renaissance Fay model says agriculture sector is equally important. Right? So this is something you must remember. For an underdeveloped economy, it need to follow the three stages to become the self-sustained economy. At this stage number one, where marginal productivity is equal to zero, the output will not be affected and the transfer of labor will be to the industrial sector. In the second stage, where AP will be greater than the MP, here it means the labor is being transferred. And lastly, when MP will be greater than AP, which means the productivity is greater than the wages, no transfer will take place. This is how the underdeveloped economy will transfer itself to the self-sustained economy as per the model. Also, you need to remember that the Fair Ennis model is based on number one, the dualistic approach to development. Second, there is presence of disguised unemployment in the ruler sector. And lastly, it gave importance to agriculture development, which the Lewis model didn't pay attention to. And lastly, before I conclude the Fair Rennes model, these are the important points you must remember. Number one, the growth in agriculture sector is as important as in industrial sector. Second, this model talks about the balanced growth between both these sectors. And lastly, the rate of growth is higher than the rate of growth of population to get out of the Malthusian trap.